All right, folks, we're back with another WizKids unboxing. This time it's wave 14 of unpainted minis. Between these two boxes, we have Magic the Gathering, as well as some Magic the Gathering in that box, as well as um, the Nulzer's Marvelous Miniatures. That's the D&D &D unpainted, and then Pathfinder, and Pathfinder, and then Deep Cuts. So a variety of different minis from a variety of different series. Some of these, if you're D&D &D fans, you'll recognize. Some of these, if you're Magic fans, you'll recognize. And then other ones, again, if Pathfinder are just generic things, like Dolphins, right? That's not specific Dolphins. to any uh, any specific uh, campaign setting or, or system. So we've got a lot here to go through. Um, we've got informational sheets kind of showcasing what we're going to talk about. Uh, and there is some duplication, I will say, so we'll be able to cut the time down. A lot of the ones in the Magic the Gathering box, we have some of the big ones are captured here in this one. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're going to do is go through and kind of bring these in close and put them on the stand, talk about the sculpts. Um, again, these are all unpainted, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, bear with us if the camera is a little... We'll try to keep it so that you can see the, the change in the different textures and things here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I believe these are all running from anywhere from $4.99 up to $14.99. Mm. Uh, looking like they are uh, going to be in stock, I think, closer towards May. But best to check with your local game store to see if you're looking to get these. Uh, and again, obviously, these are in influencer boxes, so it's kind of everything packaged together. These would be in individual blister packs kind of on the rack. Mm -hmm. Some of these, you might get two of them, or you might get, like, human monks, and you'll have two of those. Mm. Uh, or you might have like, you know, the, the, I don't know, the Dragonborn bearded, bard. Yeah, the, the well, I think there's like a bearded devil. You might have that individually in its own package. And again, anywhere in the, the $4.99 to $14.99 range. So we're going to bring it in close and uh, start going through these. Just uh, just bear with us. This might be long. There's a lot of minis here. Uh, we're going to do our best to showcase all of them, and give them their own ample time. Uh, and then we'll kind of talk final verdicts at the end. Yeah. All right, so up first, this is from Pathfinder, the Pathfinder Battles uh, series. These are two female halfling clerics. Uh, I like this. This one over here, she's got a shield, and I think you can kind of, it might be hard to see. I'm just trying to see if we can get it to stay in focus, but she's got like a translucent sort of fire flame effect in her hand. And this other one over here has, looks like a long sword, and her palm is sort of out with some sort of magical thing. She's got a staff on her back. Um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of these two. Yeah, it's, I think it's really hard to do tiny minis. Yeah, <laughs> like and again, and gnomes. these are, again, it's, bear with us here, we're doing our best, just given the fact that they're, you know, they're all gray, so the white balance and everything is going to be hard to really get a good look at these, especially the small ones. Mm -hmm. But either way, as far as, you know, halflings go, and then clerics specifically, I really like these. Yeah, I, think I like the detail of them. Alright, we'll move on to our next pair. These are our Gnome Artificers. So this comes from the uh, the D and D uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures set, and you can see uh, this one right here looks like they have a gun, maybe a wand of some kind. Ooh, yeah. And the other one is awesome because it's got a backpack with dual things with like double flamethrower. Oh my hands. god. I don't know if that's coming that, through as well on the... That definitely looks like Flame the Rans. Yeah, I mean, like, we're talking very, you know, comic book accurate X-Men pyro mm -hmm. with the backpack and the flamethrower hands. That's I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That looks exactly what it looks like. And it's got, there's like a back, there's like, like a, it looks like a goggle on the forehead mm -hmm. and a backpack. I'm just trying to make sure I can get this to stay as close to in focus. It's just hard to get it. Yeah, very cool. Uh, I am a fan of these. Uh, nice to finally see Artificer getting representation in the minis. And gnomes. All right, so this is this is just Jace from Magic the Gathering. He's um, out. We've got uh, he's got sort of dual magic effects. I'll be honest, I don't know Magic the Gathering very well, so he's hot. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, actually, the back of the cloak has a decent like um, has decent. Uh, Design. Like, yeah, there's like little engravings there. Mm -hmm. Whatever kind of Jace symbol. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, the magic looks really cool. And it's got a nice translucent effect. So if you wanted to color it, you could have it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we actually have him. He's also, we won't have to show it here, but he is also in the Magic the Gathering box mm -hmm. that we have as well. 
All right, next up is... Uh, oh, okay, this one's got a magical effect here. Hang on. This is a uh, human... Oh, there's another one. A human druid. Ooh. Okay, so we've got our, our one human druid here. She's way out of focus there. Bring her in. Get her in focus. There we go. So you can see she's obviously... This looks a lot larger. Does it look bigger to you? Then, like then like a standard? Yes. She looks much larger. Wonder, is she supposed to be human? It's human druid, yeah. Oh. And then I'm trying to... So this she's is the... Tall. This, <laughs> this is the other human druid. And she... I can't really get it, but she has like a swirling sort of flame fire effect that kind of sits... Oh, I guess maybe we can kind of just like squish her in there. You would put it on the base, right? Yeah, it would be on the base, but basically, basically. <laughs> she's got this cord of very cool fire effect. And you obviously don't have to necessarily use this on this mini. Because it comes separate, you could take it and apply it to a different mini. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, this is a this is a dragonborn. And she's, like, almost as big. Uh, she's just standing up straight. I guess. It just <laughs> it just looks larger It does, to me. yeah. Especially, well, because her hand's up in the air and she's got a hood that's making her look taller. Yeah. I get it. All right, so we got that. What do we got next? Dolphins! All right, the two dolphins come from the WizKids Deep Cuts set. So oh. we have, they come with separate bases to show one dolphin sort of leaping, kind of breaching out of the water, and the other one is, like, just supposed to be sticking out of the water. And they do come in separate pieces. The reason you're hearing us struggle is because we're trying to get them to <laughs> fit together. So there is one of the dolphins. It's really cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Coming up out of the water. So this would be obviously you would just place this on uh, you know, on the surface. And then this one here we'll put right next to it. I love that effect. Is got like the, you know, kind of breaching out of the water here, doing a, a dolphin jump, as it were. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a nice translucent, again, water effect. And that does come separate. Um, they, they come as two pieces, and then you kind of, there's a keyway on the bottom designed to showcase it off. But these are honestly, as it stands right now, there's like a little bit of like mold lines on the mouth of the dolphin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can make that out on, on this guy right here. Yeah, yeah. But all in all, these are currently, at least so far, my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's amazing to me. I know it's very polarizing in the community with mini collecting of, I rather have minis of super fantastical crazy right. creatures. But for me, more often than not, it's like the simple mundane animals mm -hmm. are more interesting to me. All right, okay. so looks like we got maybe a paladin or a fighter. Maybe, who is she? This is, oh, Kalishtar clerics. So we're heading to okay. the world of uh, Eberron to deal with the Kalishtar people. And this one, it I don't know if you can make it out, but this is actually a flail on her. Oh, if yeah. We can pull this, if we can kind of separate it. Are you supposed to? You okay. can, yeah. <laughs> so you can see it's going to start ratcheting back because yeah. it's, um, you know, obviously you can use hot water or heat gun or something like that to stretch these however you want. But mm -hmm. I like that it's, we don't often see, again, minis with chains or things mm -hmm. like that. Um, they also are really nice with, like, this one's got a morning star and the big shield. I really like these. Mm -hmm. uh, also, because Kalishtars don't look uh, openly, you know, visually different than a human or an mm -hmm. elf or anything like that, you could substitute these for any kind of, you know, whether cleric, paladin, mm -hmm. so on. So I'm a big fan of those. Tiefling bard. Okay, do we have two of these? Yeah. Do we? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. All right, cool. Tiefling Bard. Very excited. These are really nicely done. Dynamic uh, tails. Yeah, so you can see our one guy's got like, sort of like a banjo or something. Uh, I guess it's like maybe a loot. <laughs> um, down on the bottom here, and he's got, I think, a knife in his hand, and mm -hmm. the other one's kind of rocking out with his loot. Mm -hmm. And you can see the capes are flying in the background, mm -hmm. tails are sticking out. These are nice. He's doing a performance in me. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of mm -hmm. these two tieflings. Um, you know, we don't get a lot of dynamically posed, and again, not yeah. too many tiefling minis for whatever mm -hmm. reason. The popularity of them in Five E is higher than any other edition, so I don't know why we don't have more of these guys. I agree. Right. Love me a tiefling. 
Alright, and this. Maybe a monk? No. No, uh, he's got so maybe he's a wizard or something. He's got fire in his hands. This one has like a staff. Like a religious staff. Half elf wizard. Ooh. Guy's leaning back. Huh? He's, he's on a he's on a journey. Yeah, he's got he's kind of conjuring, looks like some kind of fire from hand to hand, and this other guy's just reaching out. I know, I'd like our own little scene. Help me! Fire! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if he's supposed to be leaning. Like, look at that. Quite so much. He's uh, taking it from Wanda. I was going to say. Uh, yeah, or uh, <laughs> there's a very uh, big fan of Smooth Criminal here. Look at that lean. That is impressive. Uh, but you might be able to just bend the legs, kind of stand him back up, mm -hmm. but he'll slowly make his way back to the lean yeah. as time goes on here. Very cool. Those were from uh, the D&D set as well. I'm guessing these are rogues. What is wrong with her chest? She's got, like, her cape is not con like connected well to her body on this one. Uh, She's kind of got it's a little hole right on her chest. Let's see. What do we get? Uh, Half-elf rogues. Yeah. Uh, so we have sort of a rapier dagger, and then this one is a dual dagger. Mm -hmm. um, these, they're not bad. I'm not a huge fan. They're just, they don't know, they're not as over the top as some of these other ones. Not yeah. that they need to be over the top, Yeah. but, you know, they're just nothing special to me. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you're going to do rogues for the 100th time, you got to do something, something different. different. That's not... Yeah. These, I think, are war yeah, war-forged rogues. Oh, I was wondering what was wrong with their face. <laughs> so once again, we're still obviously in the D&D &D world. Now, this one, a little bit different. The war-forged with the big, mm -hmm. looks like maybe dual scimitars, this guy over here, with yeah. the kind of the drifter, tattered Ooh. cloak. Look at him. He's a Terminator, Terminator rogue. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, again, looks like maybe short sword, dagger, dagger, dagger. Mm -hmm. uh, but this guy, he's the clear winner with the cool tattered oh, for cape. for sure. He's the wasteland traveling rogue. Mm -hmm. All right, those boys. We got... Now that I know what they are. This looks like a yeah paladin. These are human paladins. Um, we've got. I like the the dual the dual uh, the the two handed greatsword wielding mm -hmm. one here. It's a nice dynamic that. pose. I like that. You know the sword looks pretty epic with the cross guards kind mm -hmm. of all. And even this guy, I can tell right off the bat, this guy, he don't want to mess with him. Yeah. He's wielding a that's a holy avenger. Ooh, right there, yeah. so he's got the pinnacle of paladin weaponry. And he's got a half cape in the back, so he yeah. means business. Uh, he looks like he's got a tail, but it's actually just the scabbard from his sword. Ah. At All least right. they pay, pay attention to that detail. Like these? Again, these are ooh. still from the D&D &D section. Yeah, she is. She, ooh, she's flying. Her hair is going. This is changeling clerics. Oh. Interesting. So they don't really look like they have much in the way to showcase that they're changeling. Yeah, just the, the, hair, the hair that is apparently. just going. She so, reminds me of the, the ghost character from Dead by Daylight that just has hair flowing all the time. I don't know what that is, I know. but I know you do, so it's Someone important knows. that it's Comment important Comment below that you know what that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see this one's kind of got maybe like a spiritual weapon or something, mm -hmm. kind of glowing, translucent effect on the mace. And mm -hmm. this other one here's got a warhammer. I don't know why changelings have the most epic flowing hair. That how we how we represent changelings in five E is is epic hair. I don't know. Conditioner. I guess they use that, it. Changelings in Eberron, mm -hmm. all about it. All right, now these two come from the Pathfinder Battle series, and these are male elf sorcerers. And you Ooh. can see, look at this guy. He's got that. That is That's a pretty a cool going on. magic effect that he's got going yeah, on there. Is. Very neat, mm -hmm. kind of looks like I guess it's supposed to be lightning. Mm -hmm. And the other one's kind of got like a palm full of fire. I like his cowl with the yeah, he's got kind of very it. Doctor Strange mm -hmm. kind of vampire looking, yeah. you know, cloak. Very a strong hood. A strong <laughs> his hood game yeah, is his on hood point. game strong. Could we have another Warforged War Warforged yeah. barbarians? Ooh. That would be interesting. Now these guys, this dude, he's my favorite. Look at the big, he's got a Ooh. chain attached to his axe. Mm -hmm. I think, that, yeah, I was going to say, that's not a flail. That is very clearly an axe head mm -hmm. attached to some epic chain. And this guy's wielding dual wielding big battle axes. I love it. 
Uh, and they even get like the furry cloak, which for some reason is is humorous to me. Tattered. Uh, a furry, like f- you know, fur based yeah. cloak on a on a robot. He needs to stay warm. Robots need hot cuddles too. Yeah, I guess <laughs> you're not wrong. So we're once again here with the D and D stuff with those war forge. Now these guys are wild hunt shifter rangers. We're getting into the specific uh, type of shifters here. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's pretty cool. The the one with the dual wields kind of got like a sawfish sort of yeah. kind of swords here, and serrated blades, and mm-hmm. you know his arrow's a little limp. So maybe you see a doctor about that. But other than that, he's he's pretty good. I, I do like his pose, the bowman pose. It's nice to see it at a different angle and not like just straight yeah, up. straight up mm-hmm. and pulling it back. Yeah, the kind of the slight crouch there. I'm guessing these are monks. Yep, looks like it. Oh, we... shit. That Ooh, one's cool. Sorry, gamma action here. We have human monks. So we've got, uh, you know, I like this one a lot with the the kind of the quarter staff yeah. down along the back. That is a pose I haven't seen in a mini before. Mm-hmm. And then again, we have our, our Kusama Gar- sorry, gamma wielding monk with the big chain. You can see the kind of comma in her hand here. And the chain sort of wraps around to her back. And again, similar to these other ones, if you... Oh, no, this one's no, actually connected, this yeah. one's actually fixed to the back, so you can't alter the placement of the chain. Mm-hmm. It's got to kind of rest on her back mm-hmm. there. Um, but these are these are two of my favorites. Gorgeous. I have not seen good monks, really, yeah. and these are poses that are uh, that are very unique. So I'm a fan. Sabertooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> uh, yeah, this is from the Pathfinder Deep Cuts. This is the same set that had uh, the dolphins in it. Yeah. Uh, this is the only one we have in this set, and it is just that. This is what it is. It's just a nice, solid saber tooth tiger mini. I'm a fan. I think he's cute. I think we need, there needs to be more like sleeping cats minis. Okay, so this, <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, I thought that was a that's a cloak. Now tell me, this doesn't look huge. That does look huge. I this mean, looks like a very large man. Isn't he a god? Uh, no. is that no? This is. Where is it? This is a furbog. Oh, it's a furbog. Um, Maybe that's why it's a furbog ranger. Okay, so there should be a second one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They, <laughs> these are like these I are chonky boys. Love look at the, it. Look at the size of these. Like here. Here's our here's our uh, here's our warforged. Right? Here's our <laughs> warforged barbarian. We're gonna put him in the front, and I mean maybe it's because the cloaks are just covered yeah. in fur. But like, if we back I these guys so out, look at the size of the warforged to the fur bulb. They are monsters. Look at the size of these guys. But also, look at that texture. I was gonna say, check the texture on these cloaks mm-hmm. are very well done. I might steal these from you. Uh, we'll see how that happens. <laughs> Uh, but like these arrows look like freaking ballista bolts. Mm-hmm, like they are mm-hmm. not small. Um, and also, I don't. They don't really give me a furball vibe from the facial expressions. These actually yeah. remind me of the traditional three five furball, which were basically just big hairy redheaded dudes. Yeah, yeah. Not like I don't know. People seem to associate them with cows a lot, like oh, cowmen. Yeah, the nose, yeah, the yeah, flat nose. That's that, that's very much a critical role based thing. But yeah. Either way, these are pretty cool, but I would I would not have pictured these or pegged these as PC medium characters. Right, like, right. These look like they are like you could use these as giants or something exactly. like that. Exactly. The last I was looking at, or them, like I they were. ogres or something. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was different. Yeah. All right. No. I mean, they look beautiful though. Okay. This is a human druid actually looks like oh, that guy got like a crook yeah yeah so we have two human druids here i can hold hands oh no kiss <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen if you can't have fun with your man right. you fun. <laughs> so these guys uh these are not bad uh we got the texture almost like a leaf cloak um, on the mm-hmm. back of this guy. Very pretty. Uh, and I, you can actually, I don't know if you can make it out in here, but there's actually texture, like spindly texture up and down the staff. Ooh. Um, I actually think that might be like a staff of the python. Because oh, it almost yeah. looks like that's a snake head on the top of the staff mm-hmm. here. So very cool to see a magic item uh, in there. And I don't know, I didn't make, look at this. There's like a, 
like a, a little belt. Like a skull almost. Oh, like I love that. Belt buckle thing going on there. Very, very detailed. I enjoy that very much. And then this, this is a god. This is Alrund, the god of wisdom. This is a Magic the Gathering mini. I don't know if this is Theros or if this is like a. Oh, what do they call them? Ravnica? Planeswalker or oh, something, okay. right? Um, you can see there's an, actually I didn't even notice the like the bird the raven? Yeah. on the shoulder there, and there's some texture again on the cloak, mm-hmm. and now obviously this big old magic lollipop. Yeah, he is. I mean, I love that his cloak is blown back so far. It's not just like billowing. It's like there is a breeze has gone through. Something powerful is happening. But he ain't nearly as powerful as these chunky boy <laughs> fur bugs who are about as big as he is. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move to the larger scale minis uh, for this. So first up here, we have a Dire Troll. Uh, we do have a color version of this mini. Um, it does <laughs> exist. Uh, this is obviously the troll that has a very much like a Freddy Krueger vibe where it has the other troll heads coming out of its body. Mm-hmm. Although I'm looking at my other Dire Troll, I think it actually... No, I think it is pretty much the same sculpt, just unpainted. So if you would like to uh, you know, change the color or things like that, the, there is a lot of detail on this, even from down to like the little mm-hmm. skulls on the belt. Kind of zoom in and showcase this guy a little bit. Um, but I like that one's looking behind him. Yeah, you know, eyes in the back of your head mm-hmm. kind of thing. All right, so that's our dire troll. This is, this is actually a really nice sculpt a lot on this guy. I like the, oh, the yeah. leathery wings. Mm-hmm. And, he even has um, the tip of the spear is translucent for mm-hmm. magical effect. So this is, we're still again in the D&D section here, the horned devil. Um, I like it a lot. I like the kind of the, the lift off that he's sort of flying. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got abs. For days, yeah. Abs for days. And those horns are pretty epic too. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously got to be important on a horned devil. But, mm-hmm. uh, it's an right. interesting style. Next up. All right, so we have a red... Slod here. We can zoom in on this guy. So all your favorite xenomorphic abilities here with their big epic claws that if they scratch you, put a baby in your belly. Actually, no, it actually puts a slot tadpole in your chest uh, that will gestate and chest burst out like your favorite uh, xenomorph. Very cool, though. And actually, I do know that um, along with the red slod that you see here, that's actually a separate thing for the WizKids Game Nights. Uh, like the paint and take sets that they do where you can get a whole, you buy the mini and it comes with a set of paints and you can work together to paint it. That's actually Red Slot. We did, uh, Chimera was one of the last ones. Red Slot is the new one, so very cool. Who doesn't love interstellar evil toad people? Yep. All right. So this is a Marid. This is a uh, sort of the fish genie, if you will. Mm-hmm. The water elemental based genie, kind of counterpart to the Afridi, Dao, and Ginny. Um, I like this a lot. I like that it's a sort of a translucent effect mm-hmm. on the swirly, like, base, like, legs, butt area here. We've got this, so you can color this any color you like. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's actually, the, the amount of detail on just, like, the, the fins and the face, yeah. there's quite a bit there that, you know, even, again, on the it's trident. Yeah, very nice. Even the, even the base has, like, sand texture down it. Very nice. Well done. Continuing right. with the water theme. Yeah, we have a juvenile crack in here. Uh, let's see the spin it around and get you a look at the eyes. Uh, this is again another mini we have received in a recent uh, a color. I mean, I can't remember if it was Icewind Dale or the one that came before it, Fans and Talons, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do like the, the again the translucent bases. I'm a sucker for translucent minis in general, yeah. as you can te- as you can tell. So, um, but I like this one a lot. Obviously, this couldn't doesn't necessarily need to be a juvenile kraken. It could just be a squid, mm-hmm. if you like. A giant squid. A giant squid. Mm-hmm. Ah. A Demogorgon. No, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. My favorite, my poop monster friends. That's what these oh. guys are. And Otiug. I, I'd say that, but really what they are is, uh, this is actually really nasty looking. The teeth on this one look amazing. I'm a mm-hmm. big fan of this. So, you know, Otiug's the th- sort of three-legged waste eating monsters that are often found in sewers uh they have their you know their eye stalk tentacle here and their big grappling pincher kind of uh, squid like tentacle arms mm-hmm. but the uh, they, i mean the amount of detail in the musculature and things yeah. on this is pretty crazy and that maw just looks 
just mm-hmm. really good. I'm a big Almost fan Almost like you can smell his breath. Mm-hmm. And a gray render. So um, we again have had one of these. You know, there's a color version of this one as well, but I think I might actually, it doesn't, I think this one has a little bit more detail, especially in the face. But you can kind of see all the different sort of holes and things yeah. around the face. I'm a big fan of that. Even like, look at the muscles on the back. Uh, very corded. He's a strong boy. He is a strong boy. I like this one a lot. Yeah. If you wanted to make a different color render, this would be your option too. It doesn't have to be gray. Pick a different color. There you go. Ah, the Cosmo Wolf. Uh, this is from the Magic the Gathering set. Mm -hmm. um, it is pretty epic in size, as you can tell. And it has, like, looks like a bunch of arrows and things sticking mm -hmm. out of the back. But it also has some nice braids. Someone was nice enough to braid its hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, we actually, this is another one that is in the Magic the Gathering set. Mm -hmm. uh, the separate box, so we won't be going over that one again, but either way, this could make an epic if you needed to do like a Fenris wolf type mm -hmm. or uh, some like primal alpha winter wolf or something like that. This is pretty cool. Yeah. And the fur texture is amazing. This snarl looks really nice too. Let me get that here. Grr. Grr. Well, yeah, that's very well done. Mm -hmm. I like this guy a lot. Me too. All right, this is a Pathfinder Blue Dragon. Uh, also, I think would work very well if you needed to do a, a Deep Dragon or a mm -hmm. Fang uh, Purple Dragon from like the Underdark. They kind of have a similar design, very kind of spindly. Uh, again, I'm not really super familiar with Pathfinder Minis mm -hmm. or Pathfinder Dragons, but this one I do like. The, the Blue Dragon is starkly different yeah. from the the sort of almost feral looking blue dragon of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. So this is from the Pathfinder Battles series, and I'm a big fan of this. The The amount of detail in the neck and the scales mm -hmm. all the way down the chest, even the veins and the wings, very well done. Yeah, it reminds me of the, um, the dragon that is drawn on the Lord of the Rings maps, mm -hmm. how sure. spindly it is. I'm not even going to bother with the base for this one. Boom! The Earth, we're going to have to go all the way out. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. The Earth Elemental Lord. This is from the Pathfinder Deep Cut series. And this is just your big rock man. Mm -hmm. Throwing a big rock. Doesn't have a face, discernible face of any kind. Um, this could obviously be an Earth Golem if you need it to be. If you're doing uh, something where you're dealing with Ogremok, whether that be uh, Prince of the Apocalypse mm -hmm. or maybe you know Out of the Abyss. You know, or Edder, Edder, whatever the mm -hmm. other one is, Edder, Ogremok, and the good one, Edder, Bane, I don't remember what the name is, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is really nice, and even just the detail on, like, the finger joints mm -hmm. with the little stones and stuff. Yeah. I think they did a good job of determining which part was him and which part is an actual stone that he's going to throw at you. Yeah, and I also think this would be a really cool one. Obviously, someone that's more talented at painting minis than I am, I think you could do a really cool crystalline version. Mm -hmm. Like, paint it to be more shiny crystal or, like, geodish. Yeah. I think that could be really cool. All right, so now we're going to move on to the remainder of the Magic the Gathering set. So, again, we won't be covering uh, the Cosmo Wolf, Alarum the God of Wisdom, or Jace, but we do have a few others that we have not covered yet. That we'll talk about. All right. So we have, oh, we do have uh, sets of. Okay, no, this one is Nahiri. I guess this is maybe another planeswalker character of a similar nature to Jace. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a cool translucent longsword. Um, pretty neat. This is Kaya. Kaya. Mm -hmm. Again. It's a named character. I'm going to assume it's of a similar vein. Could obviously be a, a rogue. Yeah. Wielding the, the dual daggers. I like the hairstyle. Or actually, they're kunai. So, um, okay. This is. Oh, there should be the second one. Mm -hmm. We have elf fighter and elf cleric. They're pretty cool. The mm. epic sway on those. Yes. Yeah. They're ready to go. Very nice. I All like right. the staff. Yeah. All right. This is. Oh. Look at that shield on that one. Human, human berserkers. These two. Yeah, that shield is pretty unique in its shape. Mm-hmm. Well, 
All right, we got another one we got to put together. These are the shape shifters. There are two of these. I did it. This one has sort Ooh. of a big you know, shape shifters with a big sort of glowing wing scenario here. And this other one has like oh, a crystal ball that. in hand. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, we have two. This is a dwarf, dwarf fighter and dwarf cleric. Very cool. And then we're on to our last couple here. We have, I think it's Ray, Ray Dane, goddess of justice. Very much a oh, battle angel. Gorgeous. Her uh, hair. She's got a very almost like Wonder Woman symbol on her shield. <laughs> uh, and then we have the Cosmo Serpent. We have the Cosmo Wolf. Mm -hmm. And this one, this might oh be another God. one for me. Look at the, the detail on like how intricate the little scales are. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It looks like it feels like a snake. Yeah, yeah, and the face, and look at the underside on like the yeah the belly there. Wow, scary but gorgeous. Yeah, and that covers all of the Magic: The Gathering minis as well. We already talked about Jason the Cosmo Wolf. Mm -hmm. So, um, given given what we've seen here today, LB, what would you say is probably is your favorite? Um, if you had to take a stab at it. I would say either the dragon. Yeah, the dragon's pretty nice. I just love his pose. He looks like he's straight out of a painting. Yeah. Um, yeah, either that or I really actually really like this one too with the wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some pretty great ones here. Mm -hmm. So again, like we said at the start, $4.99 to $14.99. be like somewhere in May, but check with your local game stores to see where you can order these and then keep an eye again on things like uh, shop.wizkids.com or in some cases dndmini.com mm -hmm. uh, and Amazon as well to find access to all these. Thank you once again uh, to WizKids and V for sending these over for unboxing purposes. Thank you LB for helping me go through all of these. There was a lot here so I appreciate the help. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, and yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!